Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool that's going to assist us in helping us control how Civil 3D interacts with us when we work on our models. Specifically, as uh, when Civil 3D communicates uh, with us in the form of like a balloon notification in the lower right hand corner of the screen here by the system tray. So to uh, demonstrate how we're going to control this or how this tool works, I'm currently in a model right now called boundary.dwg. And I've got some content in here that's currently X-referenced that uh, shows me my proposed site plan layout. I can come over and I can see the X-reference listed in my tool space here. Now, I'm using an X-reference in this case because if I make a change to the X-reference, I receive a balloon notification. There are a number of services that will cause a balloon notification to pop up that could range from information about layers, uh, plotting in my X-reference, maybe something was changed in Vault, um, basically, if Civil 3D needs to give us some information uh, about something either needs to be updated or just provide us a notification as a convenience that a service has been completed, we'll get that notification in the corner. So just to force one of those to uh, be displayed, let's go ahead and select my X-reference here. I'm going to right-click and we'll open that X-ref and make an edit uh, change to it. I've got a line in here. I'm just going to highlight this line, delete it and then we're going to close out and save our changes. Now when I save my changes because the XREF has been modified it automatically comes up and Civil 3D tells me hey somebody's changed the contents of that file it gives me a, a link as a convenience to automatically uh, reload or update the X reference and there's also an X to close the balloon dial the balloon notification or dialog box. All right, so fantastic way to communicate, very, very helpful. But the, the challenging thing is I, I constantly have to attend to this. Sometimes there'll be links that will you know be beneficial to me. Other ones may just be notifications about plotting and that. But I'm, I constantly have to come down and click on this. Folks have asked, hey, is there a way that maybe it can display, give me that information, go away on its own without uh, requiring me to have to interact with it? And the answer to that is yes. And that's a tool that we'll look at today. So let's go ahead and update our uh, conditions here and the tool we're going to look at is a tool called tray settings so we'll go into tray settings here we start to type it with autocomplete it uh, finishes it up for us so we'll go ahead and select the command from here we can display notifications from services if I did not want to see any of those forms of notification I could take those out completely um, by default it's been checked and we see that it's been displayed until closed that forces us to have to interact with it. Instead, what I'm going to do is tell it to display for a length of time, and I could click the drop down here to control those defaults. Five seconds should be enough for me to look down, see what it is that Civil 3D needs to tell me about, and then um, have it close it on its own. So let's go ahead, we'll say OK, and let's take a look at the, uh, the difference here. If I select my X reference now, right click, we'll say Open X Ref. Uh, let's make a change. Maybe we'll uh, shorten or maybe extend this line a little bit longer than what it currently is. We'll close out of here. We'll save our changes. This time when we see the notification come up, we should see after about five seconds, after we've been notified, Civil 3D will automatically close the notification. All right. Now, granted, it's closed the notification. It hasn't updated my file. It did give me a link for convenience. If I didn't select it there, but instead realized something that had changed, I could still come over to my X references here and reload the X reference to uh, actually make the change to the file. Um, but it doesn't require me to have to go down and keep clicking on these things to continually clean that up. All right. So tray settings, very uh, useful tool. Uh, helps us. Uh, Civil 3D has a lot to say as we work on our models. A lot of that information will show up in the form of a balloon notification and tray settings will give us the tools to control how that's uh, how those notifications take place or if they take place and how much we need to interact with it. So hope this is helpful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.